So let's go on and play round two. Pete and Michelle. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a word or phrase often used to describe rain. Pete. Drizzle. Drizzle. It's there, but there are two more popular ones, Michelle. Wet. Wet. I suppose it is. Yeah, would you say it's wet today? No, it isn't there. So, Pete, you have control. What do you want to do? Play. 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 Rejoin your family. No conferring. And, of course, the Carringtons think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Now then, Fab, you're a GP. That's right, then. You're a very trendy GP. It's not the usual kind of, like, style we expect from GP. It's midlife crisis, Les. It's your midlife crisis? <laughs> How old are you? 36. 36? You've got an early midlife crisis, mate. You worked in a hospital. That's right, before I went into general practice, yeah. And you used to go past in a very strange way, down the corridors. Well, our accommodation was quite a way off, so one night I was called to see a bloke with chest pain and casualty, and I discovered a quick way of getting around was on a skateboard. <laughs> Fleet went off, chest pain and casualty, jumped on me board, flew down, in a little bit too quick, past the cubicle. A uh, bloke that was being treated sat bolt upright and said, Nurse, what, what drugs are you giving me? I'm hallucinating. The doctor flashed past on the table. All right, Fab, what do you think? Um, downpour. Let's have a look for a downpour. <laughs> no, so we lose... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> we lose a life on that. Mike, how are you doing? All right. What do you think? Uh, cats and dogs. Really, cats and dogs. Yes, well played, Mike. You save a life and you get a prize. We have a prize. What do you think, Peter? Now seeing is believing, Mike. You've won a 28-inch widescreen television with cinema sound. Yes. Yeah. 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 Any idea, Claudia? Uh, bucketing down. It's bucketing down. <laughs> no, so we lose a life on it. So two lives are gone. The Carringtons might steal. Helen, what do you think? It's pouring down. Let's have a look for pouring. <laughs> yes! You looked like it wasn't going to be there. <laughs> and it is, in fact, the second most popular answer. 13 people said it, and it's got your prize as well, Peter. Helen, you and Peter have won a fabulous short break for two in a top-class hotel set in the scenic North Yorkshire countryside. Oh, All right. Yeah. We've been to North Yorkshire. Not recently. It's fantastic. You'll enjoy it. Thank you. Pete, it's a bit different to Italy. Yeah. You know, the oh, weather's a bit I'll different. Just, yeah. A bit different. <laughs> All right, Pete. Now, you're a big fan of uh, crisps, a particular style of... I like Pringles. Pringles. So does yeah. my brother, actually. Once you've stopped, you can't stop you can't popping stop. or whatever they call no. it. Yeah. And one day, I was, I'd eaten a tube of Pringles. I was watching the telly. Yeah. And I just cut my toe now. So I put all the trimmings into the Pringles tube <laughs> and put the lid back on. And Fab came in, sat down, picks them up, gives it a shake, can hear something rattling around, pops the lid off, and works it Oh, God, no! Next minute, toenails everywhere, so... Really, Fab, can it... Oh, it turns my stomach to it, it makes me go a queasy. <laughs> and he did, yeah. All right, Pete, what do you think? Peeing down. <laughs> and you've cleaned that up. No, so we lose three lives, and the Carringtons back in line for a chance to steal. Sarah? Hammering it down. Hammering it down. Rachel? Heavens opened. The heavens have opened. Claire? Tipping down, Claire. Tipping down. Lashing down. Lashing down. Kevin? Persistently raining. <laughs> Persistently raining, yeah. Which one are you going to go with? I think we'll go with tipping down. It's tipping down. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> Answer number six is... It's teaming. Answer number five is chucking it down. And the top answer on a word or phrase often used to describe rain is... It's a shower. So there you go. All that describes any typical bank holiday Monday. Let's play on round three. Pop me, Claire. Top six answers. Way. It's an Italian man for you, Claire. You're smitten. <laughs> she wants you, does she know? Okay, top six answers. We asked a hundred people to name something that has a shell. Fab. Snail. A snail. Is there, but there's a top one, Claire. Tortoise, Claire. A tortoise. Yes. You went slowly giving that answer. Yay! Yay! Claire, rejoin your family, no comparing the acquisitions. Think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Rachel, what do you think? A crab. A crab. Yes. 
Well played. Um, prawn. Prawn. A prawn. No, so we lose a life on it. Three answers to find. What do you think, Kevin? Oh, an egg. An egg. Yes. So now we have two answers to find and there are two lives left, Michelle. Um, the beach. We're looking for a beach. <laughs> two lives have gone, the Equises might get a chance to steal. Got to go carefully, Claire. A chick. We're looking for a chick. <laughs> so, a chance now for the Equises to steal the money. Claudio. A clam. A clam. Lobster. Lobster. Oyster. Oyster. I was going to say clam. Clam. Batman. 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 <laughs> That's a shell. No, oh, you've got like this. Single, no. hasn't it? It's Bobby's show. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? You've got you got some... If you can't think of something, say the most stupid thing that yeah. you possibly could have heard. Which one are you going to go with? Oyster. Oyster to steal. <laughs> no, so it means... Harry <laughs> win, win the money and knock the mic out of the way. The missing answer is number six. <laughs> a nut has a shell. And answer number five and something that has a shell is... A pea, you shell peas. So, at the halfway stage in the game, the Equisi family have £31, and the Carringtons have £173. <laughs> Time for our viewers' question. Now a chance for you at home to win £1,000. I'm going to ask you a question. Three answers are going to be revealed on the board. You have to ring me up and tell me which you think is the top answer. We surveyed 100 people and asked to name the most common way of getting to work. Was it A? Bike? Was it B? Car? Or was it C? Helicopter? <laughs> if you know the answer, then call us on 0901 564 Lines close at midnight on Friday. Calls cost no more than 60p. Right now, we're going to take a break. In a couple of minutes, we'll be back when one of our families will have a chance to play for £5,000 and either the car or the holiday. We'll see you then.